Talking to Greg Sankey, the SEC commissioner, I know you're a big runner. It feels like we're at mile five or six of a of a five year marathon. So give me what is your five year plan for the SEC? Well, I'll back up. So I've finished forty one marathons in my lifetime. And the great lesson of marathoning is uh, the the misnomer is thirteen point one miles is halfway. You know, twenty miles into a marathon, you're halfway because those last six miles <laughs> are the hard part. Um, if I were to look out, first of all, I don't think you can just say, here's our five-year plan. So we don't engage in strategic planning per se. We engage here in the Southeastern Conference in strategic thinking, which is every time we gather together, you analyze what's happening, you analyze the issues, you have the right kind of counsel generally from the outside, certainly around legislative and legal issues, and then you think forward. Um, so as I think forward, uh, the NCA has to adapt as an association. We're, we're not in this, well, maybe we should, maybe we should. And we're seeing some of that right now. Uh, I'll go back, though, Dan, to what I observed, that we, we have a lot of past thinking that still is attached to how we're making decisions moving forward in a modern era. Um, I think conferences are important. So if you're asking me three to five years out, I think conferences are still important. I think there's meaning for a context of competition. Um, college athletics is very different than professional sports. People can opine about whether or not that's true. Um, I think we need national standards around certain issues. I think certainly academic eligibility and how we conduct ourselves with, with education at the center. I think health and safety standards are important. And then I think when we get into to recruiting structures, how we play the season, those are important parts. We're continuing to think about how we support student athletes. And there are any number of opinions about that. But that model will continue to adapt, as we've seen over the last five years. The question is going to be, can we do that uh, in collaboration with people? including our congressional legislators, or are we going to do that through the, the court systems as we've done over the last decade or so? When's the last time you had a university reach out to you to join the SEC? Uh, nobody calls and says, can I join? It usually <laughs> begins with a conversation. Hey, how you doing? Wanted to talk through some key issues. And then at the end, hey, if anything ever changes, let me know. And what I tried to communicate at our media days was really confident in who we are. We're, we're committed and convinced we made two really wise additions. And I think that shows itself to be true right now in the University of Oklahoma. But when was the, the last time you had that conversation, Commissioner? When's last week. Last week you had a yeah. president. Hey, how you doing? No, you know, it's a different, different folks. Hey, how you doing? If you ever think about it, you know, keep us in mind, which is a compliment. That's we're not out on the recruiting trail. We're not looking to go beyond 16. There's not some magic number. Um, and that's where I say, Dan, we're, we're confident and comfortable in the decisions we've made so far. But is there a move that could happen that would change your strategy? Well, we're really aware of what's happening around us. And it's tough to answer every hypothetical. We've, we've shown to be adaptable in unique circumstances. So we're going to continue to, to be adaptable as needed with the priority on who we are. And I'll go back to what I communicated again at our media days, which is, uh, I don't think about numbers. Um, people don't really think through the economics of expansion. So you don't want to just diminish uh, your financial support to your current members to just add to achieve a number. So philosophical approach to high level, nationally competitive athletics, a cultural fit um, are, are really important. And that's what we've done in our most recent expansions with Texas A&M, Missouri, and now Oklahoma, and Texas.